Hi, this is Reverend K. L. Blessing, and today I want to share with you some of the revelations we can learn from the book of Proverbs, chapter 2. Today I'm dealing with Proverbs, chapter 2. And in the book of Proverbs, we will be learning more about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And I want you to know that we are talking about the wisdom of God. We have about three levels of wisdom. We have the wisdom of God, the wisdom of men, and the wisdom of the devil. The wisdom of God comes from what God wants us to know and how to live our lives according to his will. The, wis the wisdom of men are the philosophies and ideologies of human beings because of our existence on this earth, the things we've learned over the years to make us smart and survive. And then we have the wisdom of the enemy, the trick, tricks and deception and the evil wiles of the enemy to do evil. So we are here dwelling and focusing not on the wisdom of men, because we have some people who are earthly wise, but not godly wise. I quite remember in my teenage years, I met a man and his advice to me, which was the wisdom of men was that, hey, if you are going to have sex, then make sure that you have condom. He knew I was a teenager and he was trying to advise a young man. He said, hey, you can go ahead and have fun, but just make sure you have what? Condom on you. For protection so that you don't get sexually tra transmitted disease but during that time i was already a christian a believer born again and i had the wisdom of god and that wisdom of god which is higher than the wisdom of men did not allow me to have to fornicate so you see the difference even though he was he meant good but he was applying the wisdom of men and some of us uh, listening to the wisdom of men when we watch soap operas and jet duty and listen to friends and family and stuff they will give you the wisdom of men that makes sense but it may not necessarily be the wisdom of god understand it the wisdom of god is according to the bible according to the scriptures according to the holy spirit and according to that which will help you to have the mind of christ and to be able to make it to heaven and also please god and the wisdom of the devil is always to steal to kill and to destroy it, it's the wisdom that causes people to be envious jealous have pride selfishness self-centeredness that brings about conflict that's the wisdom of the devil trying to stab people at your back at their backs gossip about people lie and slander these are the wisdom of the devil it is very destructive it is very destructive but as we learn the book of proverbs our our main intention is that god will give us his wisdom his understanding and his wisdom knowledge and understanding and this wisdom knowledge understanding counsel there it's a spirit and therefore when you read the scriptures the proverbs you are you have to pray a simple prayer that lord endow me fill me up with the wisdom of god so as you read it otherwise you'll be reading it and not getting nothing from it because it is a spirit and it is the, it's only wisdom only comes by the spirit of god the, the holy spirit the spirit of grace he is the one who endows you with this wisdom of god to be able to apply the scriptures the principles and the promises of God into your life. It is the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. James chapter 1 verse 5. The Bible says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God, who gives all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. As we are starting during this season and reading the book of Proverbs, our main aim is that the Lord will give us what? Wisdom. Wisdom for living. Wisdom that will affect every area of our lives. 
Don't you want to have wisdom as to how to live a healthy life, how to manage your finances, how to have a good relationship, how to be able to manage your marriage well, how to raise godly children, how to be able to be successful in your businesses, in your enterprises and whatever you do. I realize that many successful people we, we know all over the world, they are very successful in one area of their lives. But what people don't also know is that most of the most successful celebrities have also failed in certain areas of their lives. Recently, I was watching the documentary about World Pele, who just recently died at the age of 82. And this is a man who is world acclaimed and honored and respected as the best soccer player of all times. But then you look into her marital, his marital life and was married to about three or four women before he died. And also, he also had a challenge of bankruptcy, failed businesses and financial problems when he was rising. So you realize that even though the most successful persons in this world can have their own personal challenges in other aspects of their lives, you will find many celebrities and you realize that they are very successful in their career, but were not that successful in their marriage. Some of them were very successful, but they were not successful as being parents. Their children will tell you, I really didn't have any relationship with my mom or my dad because she was all out with her profession and we don't really. So I, I realized that we want the kind of wisdom that will help us by the grace of God to be able to have a balanced life, a whole life. Some of us are successful in our businesses, our education and and in, even in finances and every other thing, but we, we are unsuccessful when it comes to our health. Our health are failing because we don't take care of our health. We don't take care of our health. Some of us are successful with our businesses, but we are failing in our relationships, with our marriages. And that's what the Bible says, if, if anyone lacks wisdom, if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who will generously, liberally give to everyone who acts without reproach. Meaning God wants to grant us and give us his wisdom for us to apply it in our life to be successful in every area. But you have to acknowledge the areas of your life that you are falling short or you, are, you have a deficit or you have a deficiency. And say, Lord, I am successful with financial management, but I'm not successful with raising my children i really don't know how to raise my children i'm not successful there was a time that bill carson uh, bill, uh, bill carson bill carson ben carson ben carson the neurosurgeon ben carson the neurosurgeon at a point his mom raising two children without a man with less than first grade education she couldn't read but she prayed that father give me wisdom to raise these boys and God gave her the wisdom that, hey, as a mother, let them go to the library every day and let them start writing a summary of every book they read every week. And that is how this illiterate single mother who was working three or two jobs to take care of Ben Carson and his brother was able to raise this great man who became a world sensation and a surgeon who uh, uh, was able to carry out the surgery of uh, the Siamin twins opening, uh, dividing these children with uh, combined head. The parent, the mom, asked God for a specific wisdom to raise his children. Some of us, we are not asking for God's wisdom as to how to have a healthy life. And that's why we are eating from monkey donut to, to donkey donut, to human crackers, to animal crackers, eating junks into our systems and they are discovering all sort of sicknesses in our health, in our, in, in, our, in our body. No exercising, no eating right, and nothing, not even resting. We are not applying wisdom. Some of us, our marriages are failing. Why? Because for some reason, you have been focusing on career and job and job, and you are not. A lady told me how she had to do two jobs and in the quest of doing two jobs to get money, she abandoned her husband and that led that the man to start cheating on her by even sleeping with her own, his own daughters. 
because their wife was busy out there all 24 7 out there doing work we need the wisdom of god now what is wisdom wisdom is the right application of the knowledge that you acquire the right application doing the right thing at the right time because of the knowledge you have what is knowledge the acquisition of information knowledge is the acquisition getting relevant information that will help you make wise decision and understanding is knowing what to do why you do what you do understanding is the ability to what know why you do what you do knowing why the reasons why you do what you do and wisdom is now applying it there are people who have the knowledge they have the understanding but they are not applying themselves so we want god to give us the right knowledge and we want god to give us understanding why we do what we do and when we do them the reasons why we do them and also wisdom is to be able to step out and do them do you get it so in the book of proverbs you realize that they are admonishing you to go all out and seek wisdom go out out and what seek the wisdom of god he says my son if you receive my words and treasure my command within you so that you incline your ears to, to wisdom seek it out you got to seek it out you got to seek it out you got to go all out and seek it out so that you incline your ears to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding yes if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding that's what james chapter 1 verse 5 was talking about if anyone lacks wisdom let him ask god you have to cry out to God and say, Lord, I need your wisdom this year. I need your wisdom this day. I need your wisdom to deal with this crisis, this situation I'm handling. I need your wisdom to be able to handle my husband. I need your wisdom to be able to raise my son. I need your wisdom as to how to deal with this stubborn problem or this difficult supervisor or boss or co-worker. Lord, I need your wisdom. And when you then you realize that God begins to give you what? Knowledge and counsel as to what to do. It continues to say, If you seek her as silver and search for her as a hidden treasure, you have to treasure wisdom. Wisdom is power. Wisdom is power. Those who are wise, they are always on top. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord. That's what I'm saying that we are talking about the wisdom of God and it only comes by the Spirit of God. And then later on, as you read Proverbs, you realize that Jesus Christ is our wisdom. Jesus Christ is our wisdom. And find knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. For the Lord gives wisdom. And from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So wisdom comes from God. Understanding comes from God. And knowledge comes comes from god if you have wisdom knowledge and understanding i bet you you will make it this year you will make it in life because you can't go wrong when you are following the principles the precepts the commandments of god eh, to lead you because god is the creator of the heavens and the earth and he created us and so when we follow his words and we we hide it in our life in our heart and practice his word through the empowerment of his holy spirit then we are bound to make it 